All right, hey everyone, WanderBots here, and welcome to Dungeon Munchies. Now, you may be asking yourselves, wait, Wander, didn't you already play this? And the answer is yes, but I didn't play this with a lady voice, because my lady voice sounds like this, which is terrible. <laughs> oh so my. I grabbed an actual, real live lady person to do my lady voices for me. I'm a lady person. You are, in fact, a lady person. I can't... I get this to start, though. Uh-oh. Uh, have, you, have you always used a controller with this? Uh, I did the first time. So maybe it's just a, a menus issue. The right. Sorbet Biological Storage Facility. I didn't remember them having difficulty options. Sushi. Right, there we go. This should work. Ah! Oh, someone's revived! Oh. You they, know. They even have a little. Hold up. I think I might have actually played this keyboard and mouse. Huh. Give me a second. I guess this will take a little bit to switch around. Why? Because I got to play this keyboard and mouse. You get the couch. I have to sit my butt in this cold hard chair. All right. So now that I actually remember that I have to play this keyboard and mouse, we'll make do. Whoa, wait. So this guy, it looks like he's awakened. He's awoken from this funeral setting. Yes. But look, all there's bones propping up all of the wreaths. Yeah, he was already dead before he died. What? Yeah. And is... He comes is, from a distinguished line of zombies. And then he died. And then he got brought back as a zombie. Now, is Matt the it's magnifying the glass or life. the skeleton? No, it's... uh, I think it's the skeleton. Considering the skeleton's got a note. It is weird that the magnifying glass has a face. <laughs> Hi, I'm Matt. I want to teach you about dungeon survival. If you're feeling really hungry now, don't worry. It's a very special feeling that grows inside every zombie when they come out of the ground. But over time, if you don't take care of that special feeling, it can cause serial organ failure. That's why you need to eat. I'm here now because I made a mistake and forgot to follow Simmer's instructions. I wish I had listened better. Go find some food and take care of that special feeling. Don't be like Matt. Don't become a skeleton. Oh. Mm-hmm. So this is a weird game. Nice oh. plastic bag. A friendly interdimensional pouch that helps maintain freshness. Ah, oh, but plastic bags are evil. What are you talking about? I mean, honestly, with how messed up this universe is, I... I wouldn't exactly say that... Plastic bags are on the uh, the top of the worries list. Hey, I'm Megan. Oh, oh, Megan. Hey, I'm Megan, and I also want to share my survival experiences. Did you know that too many creatures... That, oh, that too many creatures. It's not too many creatures. That too many creatures, zombies are actually a healthy and delicious source of food? I didn't, and look at what happened to me. This dungeon is full of creatures that discriminate against the undead. Nobody wants to share their food, and most creatures just want to eat me. If I could try this again, I'd want to get a weapon, like a stick or something, to protect myself. I'd actually uh, want to turn the volume up a bit. Yeah, it's very, very soft. That's At least nice it currently is. Chiming. Now, I don't... Does that... Oh, I thought that that was going to be a monster, but no, it looks like you just took a branch off of him. Ah, oh, that grass. Blade grass, of course. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, we we chopped up, chopped off that that tree's mongus. It's fine. I'm worried it might cut the bag. It's Brandon here with more of your top ten hottest survival tips. But before that, I want to congratulate you on making it out here. Very few zombies have made it here in one piece. You can thank Simmer for putting t you together so well. Anyways, to start off, we got Big Moses at number ten. If you're a zombie suffering from debilitating hunger, you might want to try the local protein-rich delicacy, Big Mozzies. They can even taste like shrimp if you just imagine it. But watch out, because they need to be cooked. If you eat them raw, your stomach will fill with air and explode. Yikes. Ah! Uh, well then. What do then. you think happened to me? Boop. Is that a nut of some sort? Yeah, tree nuts. Big mosquitoes. Yep, Big Mozzies. Eat this. I'm gonna have to go, uh... Turn the sound off next time we get the ability to save. Or not off, just down. 
The sound effects are just a little loud. So, Shell, mm -hmm. would you eat a mosquito if they were big enough to eat? Hmm. So, hmm. I, I wouldn't like the fact that were you to eat a mosquito, particularly a female mosquito that has fed on another being? It's somebody else's blood? Yeah, if someone else's blood would be present inside it. Oh, a ghost. Oh, this is Simmer, so she's the one that created the zombie. Ah, after 10,000 years, I'm free. It's time to conquer Earth. With a free lifelong premium subscription to Simmer's Cooking Lessons. Satisfaction guaranteed or double your money back. Uh, I've been looking for you all morning, boss. I just want to report that Tyler blew up the gas canisters. Hey, I was in the middle of something. It's just Tyler. Can't you take care of it? Well, <laughs> this is awkward. Let me get to the point. I'm your creator, Simmer the Necromancer. I need an apprentice who can inherit my culinary arts, but because there's kind of a shortage of skilled labor around here, I created you to do the job. For example, do you know why you can't eat raw mozzies? Because, boom, all that wind magic's gonna blow your head up if, if you don't cook it properly. It is possible to learn this power and prepare magical dishes that are delicious and safe, you ask? Oh, not from an amateur. That's why you'll need a limited edition hardcover copy of my Introduction to Magical Cuisine. You've made it here, which means that you're the smartest zombie so far. I'm sure you'll learn quickly. I need to step away for a bit to literally put some employees together. In the meantime, study that book and study it well. Bon appétit! Alright, so we can make fried mosquito. Cook. There we go. It, it has a face. Everything has a face in this game. Okay, not everything, but like our health bar has a face. The frying pan, also a face. What is that coming off you? Uh, I have mosquito wings off my butt. H how? Is it the a power that you get? Oh, this is from Kyle. Report on dungeon survival by Kyle. Simmer kept telling me to find a pot to cook with. I'm not really sure what that entails. I was really hungry, so I ate those mosquitoes raw. Then I proceeded to explode. This game looks fun. It's super good. It has every... Every, like, good aspect that... Almost like a Metroidvania should have. But it doesn't quite have the, the level of exploration. But it kind of almost doesn't matter. Background's pretty impressive, too. Yeah, the pixel art is great. I... Uh, uh, let's see. I'm gonna go over here. Ah. Wait. Uh oh. It'd be nice if you can make it with that jump. No, I don't think I can. We'll have to come back later. I think that's a recipe or something. Mm hmm. There's there's a number of secrets you can come back for. This game doesn't really do. I'm not gonna say it doesn't do exploration, but the exploration is in a very limited fashion. Kind of. I uh, I'd almost put this in the same vein as, vein as like Moa Stray. Mm hmm. Just in terms of both presentation style and uh even some like overarching tones but this one's a lot funnier oh oh a happy tree and a sad tree i mean and now they're both surprised yeah well i i removed their oh nuts oh but are those primarily for throwing also that's a sword yep so we can make a blade grass sword primary melee weapon with a wide swing, made of sharp blades of grass, inflicts 10 blade melee damage. Okay, and I've already got the nuts. There we go. I actually don't know where that other subway entrance looking thing leads to. Not that it matters. At some point, we get the ability to warp between these locations. We can just come back whenever we want. There's a small note here. For Simmer. Employee safety is the up of, of, of the utmost importance. When a worker dies on the job, they will be resurrected at the cost of the company. That way, all employees are empowered to work for eternity without a care in the world. Oh, so a recycling bin is where you come back? Yep. Yeah, so that's the checkpoint system. I actually remember if I have to pick those up. Free-ish. 
Get out of here, fish. Nope. Fish? Oh, no. There we go. Nope. Now, those will probably make for for meat. For like the meat. Which reminds me, we have catfish and salad we should get we do. through. And salmon. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, we have frozen catfish, fresh salmon. We need to get to that fresh salmon. Yeah, if you want to just, like, oven bake it. Even as early as, like, tonight or tomorrow. We should probably make it tonight. Okay. Or at least half of it. But I still really wanted teriyaki salmon. I... I guess. I'm a big fan of just broiled salmon with lemon and salt. Mm. It's so good. It's so pure. I don't know if we've tried the... Ow. Ah! That thing clobbered you over the head. I don't know if we've tried broiling in our current oven yet. Maybe we have. We eat my nuts. <laughs> it doesn't want to eat my nuts. <laughs> I don't like this. Uh-oh. No. Wait. That poo. What, what's it doing there? Oh! Those bugs are treating me like crap. Before they had stayed together with my code. Oh, thanks for helping me with the bugs. Wish I had something to thank you with. If you can help me find my friend, I'll tell him we owe you one. I think we're going to stay put. It's a proven strategy for fighting missing team members. <laughs> uh. Oh, here we go. Welcome to the official training camp that we've worked hard to prepare for you. Let's get orientated. Closing down that rusty old cart was the most work anyone's done this week. Don't mind the turret near the entrance. I'm thinking about cleaning that soon. This dungeon is full of magical creatures. You get all sorts of magical powers when you eat them, but you'll probably die if you don't cook them. What is the right way to season the big toad? How do you even eat a slime? The only way to know is to read my complete works. I gave you the first volume, but this isn't some kind of book giveaway. You'll have to work for the rest. But I believe in you. I can't wait to see you struggle through the challenges facing you. And don't get too cocky and start with the three basics. Monster hunting, ingredient collecting, and... Mm, food cooking. As your supervisor, I'll be working hard supervising you from here. Get to work! As the only platinum tier nationally accredited necromancer around here, it's only natural for my employees to have the best benefits. You see, back in the day I made a killing out of resurrecting overworked office workers. A dead workforce is an inefficient workforce. That is, that was the core, wait, really? That was my core value proposition. See that large recycling bin next to me? I've applied a fully automated corpse assembly spell on a bunch of these. Whether you've been cut up in fillet, blended, or digested, the closest spin will collect your remains and quickly put you back to work. Ah, uh, but don't worry about the turd at the entrance. Uh, someone will take care of it one day. Sanitation is our priority. We're just a bit lacking in manpower and morale. But I've magically upgraded your digestive ability so that you should be able to process more foods than the regular human. A little dirt here and there shouldn't be a problem for you. She's saying it in the nicest, most roundabout way, but I think she expects you to eat it. Please forgive her. As a spirit, she can't pick anything up. Nuh-uh! Wasn't it your job to begin with? Okay. We've already read all that. Wait, you're supposed to eat? The guy back there? I... The, the, the poo? Kind of the maybe implication, yeah. Hey. So here is how we warp. See this cute little shrine? I've also applied a fully automatic teleportation spell to a bunch of these. You can activate them by offering your prayers. Activated shrines can then take, take you to any other activated shrine. Isn't that convenient? The spell actually just tears you to bits. We then carry your bits to a new shrine and put you back together. That's essentially what a teleportation spell does. It's more cost-effective this way. Okay, so we now have a short sword. Or a shield. Hmm. We're going short sword. 
So I have primary and secondary weapons, if you notice. Oh, sorry. So now you I have two swords. swords. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kamu, the weapons crafter. Boss created me to make weapons, but there's nobody to make weapons for. I'm starting to have serious existential concerns. For example, how can I be a weapons crafter if I haven't made any weapons yet? Wait, do you need a weapon? I think it can be of, abs of assistance. Why don't I give you the stuff on the truck? Because they're not weapons, they're just PVC displays. Please don't move them. <laughs> have you caught the degenerate responsible for the mess out there? Nope, I haven't seen anyone or anything take a dump out here. It's just... shows up by itself every day. I think it can regenerate itself. Okay. So Read are we that. gonna go back to Depool? Okay, I was gonna quick go back to the title. Uh... Okay, what I wanted to do is go into audio. I want to turn down the sound effects further. Okay. Because they're just a little punchier than the music, and I want to hear the music better. Audio balance will forever elude me, but I can keep working on it. I'm a little worried about, like, boss fights. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a little loud. Yeah, boss fights might be... It depends on if they have a lot of, say, heavy metal rock and stuff going on in the background. That's better. At least for now. I'll make it work. Aren't you going to go back to the poo? Uh, I guess I can go back to the poo. They keep talking about the poo. Might as well go back to him. Get the flies away. Whoa! Yep. So you can't eat Yeah, it's it. the same thing. We can't do anything about him. Ah. It'd be gross, too, anyway. Well, it's not actually poop. It's chocolate ice cream. Wait, he, wait, what? Yeah, remember? He got separated from his cone. He got separated from his cone. Oh, you're right. But everyone else thinks he's poop. Well, I mean, he looks like poop. <laughs> oh, are those just spiky mushrooms? That's amusing. Yep. And so they're just regular spikes. I don't think they're instant death either, which is quite nice. Uh, I miss soft serve ice cream. Because ice cream ice cream is good. But soft serve, there's just something light about it. I really want to go back to a salt and straw once we can go outside again. What, what salt and straw? That was the one where I had the weird pistachio ice cream. Um, uh, hmm. Oh, that's interesting. And, oh, it wasn't the pistachio, it was the, uh, the olive. Oh, that place. Yeah. The, Wait, but that was, that was down in California. We, uh, we, they're a local brand. Oh, okay. Or at least local-ish. We ate at them when we went to the, uh, that, like, kind of indoor market area. I remember, and it was really crowded. Yeah. Man, to think back to those days. Yeah, when people weird, right? could stand shoulder to shoulder without worrying about catching something. Yep. I still have weird dreams about just, like, being out around people and being like, this is dangerous, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then I have to remind myself it's a dream, so I don't need to constantly stress myself out about being around other human beings. Olive ice cream, calling me intrigued. It was, it was like a very, it was very salty, but like in a good way. Looks like a mantis shrimp. Yep. Shrimp claw. Ah, why are you swimming into it? You swim above it. You should probably heal up. Do you have food on you? Nope, I heal by finding ingredients. Or, I think it's actually the ideas, the little light bulbs that come out of enemies when I kill them. Wait, really? It's not from eating the food that you just cooked? Nope. Those are permanent upgrades. So if you notice, I've got a fishtail as well. Oh. Oh! Yep. Yeah, so... This allows you to go more swiftly underwater or something? Yep, 50% faster. What are you going to look like after you've eaten 30 different varieties of creatures? So I can only equip so many things. Oh, I see. That makes sense. That guy is shrimp giving is you cheating. trouble. Yeah. 
He's doing the jump. Well, no, it, it's healing up. Oh, you're gonna die. You aren't careful. I right, very there's no well other might. way to heal? Uh, let's see, there's a couple of ways to heal. Watch out. I think I do heal if I go back to town, but I could be wrong. Um, or maybe the shrines. I'm picking up these. Oh, little, you're like, right about the lights. Yep. Yep. You're almost back to a full health now. The other way I can heal is by perfect dodging. There we go. Uh, perfect dodging gets me a little bit of the idea stuff. There you go. Okay, so let's go back to the... Oh! Yeah, there is something in between. I just straight up didn't... Uh, I guess I have to interact with it. Oh, it's fine. Okay, so we now have... Electrical discharge when attacked. Max health by 20 points. I've never had escargot. I I probably should someday. Here we go, guava juice. Ooh, guava. Recover 3 HP every 10 seconds. So what makes you look like you have guava? Oh, uh, so you have a claw on your hands? Yep, I've got, I've got claws. Maybe the guava is the sort of aura that you have around you with yeah. the green flex. Okay. So these are primary. So now I've got a dagger. Last time I played this, I... I invested pretty heavily into damage over time effects, and I think it works great. I really oh. don't like it when you don't have a move that allows you to suck up resources from areas that would be covered in spikes and such. Yeah, I eventually I get way better healing abilities, so it's not that big of a deal. Mm-hmm. Man, this music is good, but it is shockingly quiet. I think we might have to bop out to the menu again, turn that turn down the sound effects further out. There we go. I don't remember I wanna say there's an ability that lets you Because I just wanna be like Kirby. Pick what? stuff up. Yeah. The other thing is I only actually need so many items, like there's not really a whole lot of reason to farm, except for, for a very small number of creatures. Because once you make a piece of, like, one of the food items, you just get it forever. Oh, there's a shrine. Yep. Yeah, I just never... Either I didn't go up to it, or I needed to interact with it. Game looks oddly familiar. I played it recently. It's super good. Oh, here we go. I don't have to go out to the main menu to change the sound settings around. That's good. Turn it all the way back up. You're showing right, your screen. Yeah, there's nothing to show. Okay. Are you still on display capture or something? Yeah, I have to be. Oh, a banana. I'm a banana. Eat me. Don't hesitate. It's your warped sense of morality that's uh, playing tricks on you. I want to be eaten. Eat me. Uh, I, I, it's a, you took his head? It's filled with a sense of purpose and satisfaction. What? Oh, banana. Oh, banabra. I'm just going to let the bleed finish him off. Toad leg. Affectionately called the water chicken in culinary circles. Now, I know there's a secret up here. Can you wall jump yet? No. I think I get a third jump later. We'll come back later. Pretty much as soon as I get my next movement tech. Oh, is that a tadpole too? Yep, was. Uh, 
Okay. Now I wonder. Oh, it has some kind of acid bubbles on its back. Yep. It just reminds me of those frogs that carry their young in their back. You remember them? Yeah. Oh, that is. Okay, I can't gross this to guy think for about. some reason. Weird. I honestly do not remember having troubles hitting enemies the first time I played this. Yeah, those frogs that have their eggs embedded in them like pimples or something. Yeah. And then, then all the little tadpoles swim out when they're ready. Okay, so fried banana. Extra three points of damage for every melee attack. We want to get the barbecued toad leg. I wonder how you would make a fried banana. Our bananas are probably too mushy at this oh, point. Oh, we really need to make those. We need to make them up in banana muffins or something else. Banana curry was okay, but I think I think I prefer them as the muffins or the bread. Yeah. The muffins are just pure. Oh, well, that's just making my stomach rumble. Yep, I am hungry. All the mention of food. There we go. Yeah, the one unfortunate part is I do not have a whole lot of range here. What would you say is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Mm, don't know. I don't eat a whole lot of weird things. I'm kind of picky mm -hmm. about what I consume. Yeah, I suppose it was very minuscule, but there was that time our anthropology uh, professor brought in sort of like a jalapeno fried cricket legs. So I can say that I've eaten cricket before. Granted, it was only the legs, which was minuscule. I don't know if I would have been able to take a whole abdomen, because uh, uh, I don't know how fond I would be of the whole crunching into something soft. But I would also have to say that yeah, when we did co go to Disney before the pandemic began and they had on that special menu monkfish, I thought to myself, ah, that is the one of the most ugly fish I've ever beheld by far. I guess it's not exactly that odd of a thing, but uh, cow tongue was definitely kind of weird to think about oh did did we ever have that at one of the hot pot places yeah. or like the korean um chinese ones where you like the restaurants where you're actually simmering yeah. it it was <laughs> really good like i i really enjoyed the the cow tongue <laughs> dragon, dragon fruit farm 200 meters ahead that's not an invitation. Entry prohibited. Thank you for your cooperation. Yeah, unless it's like overtly kind of like a male-ish thing, uh, I can absolutely just let you handle most of the dialogue. My voice has just been a little rough lately. Yeah, it was interesting when I was watching that Maid-sama anime before, and they were preparing the omelets with all of the vegetables and the meat and such that sort of gets laid underneath the omelet itself. Yeah. And how it looked like there were cow tongues that were being sliced. Oh, dragon fruit harvesting is strictly forbidden. And they have a guy with his middle fingers up. Is that the dragon fruit? By order of the Lord of the Forest. Oh, maybe that's the Lord of the Forest. Nope. Look, Spittle. Another fool arrives to challenge the might of our great lord. I'm afraid the only thing that awaits you is a painful demise. The necro chef fears our powers and sends nothing but her pawns. How churlish and how fruitless. You are not fit to set foot in this forest. Every step you make is a blasphemy to our sacred dirt. Return to her kitchen and never come back again. It's boss time. Boss time? Is this the Lord of the Forest or the Tentacles? No, nah, no. Nah. It'll take a bit for Dragon us to actually fight orchard. it. Oh, that's a cross-looking one. Oh. Hey, did you see the sign I made? Lord Protector ordered me to protect the nuts. 
She also said the Neckershift can't have any. Oh, the Lord of the Forest is a lady? Mm-hmm. Huh. Are you working for her? She's only ever sent skeletons. Ah, uh, so much to think about. I just want to do my job and get my salary. Okay. If you don't get out of my sight, I'm gonna beat you up. If you go anywhere else, I'm gonna kill you. Got it? <laughs> Whoa. Suppose he made himself a golem body with a very aptly placed leaf over his groin. Yep. Well, I mean, you better bet he's anatomical under there. Yep. Fight and growth. Oh my. I think it's fun when people combine emotes for one thing or another. Well, he's on fire. It's unfortunate, but where is he bleeding from? Uh. It, it's, uh. He's. Uh. Look. <laughs> I don't know what to think of this. I hit him right, right in the figs. Yeah, figs would, would be a way to put it. Yep. I haven't had figs in a long time. Figs and dates. Very Mediterranean. Ah, uh, yeah. His health bar is actually pretty low. I, I like it when you can- What? Oh, man. You may. Oh, and you have so little health left. Don't get hit by the rock! Oh, no! Ah, uh, he got me. Yeah, I he the problem is I think hit. I I like my uh damage over time, but I don't think it's actually good yet. We need a couple other things. Uh hmm. Cuz this does 100 damage. Oh, we'll give this a shot. Mm -hmm. I suppose you can just skip the dialogue. Hey, didn't you see the sign? I, huh, you look a lot like the last guy that came in oh, here. Oh, really? How many of you are there? <laughs> so he acknowledges the fact that you came in before. It's interesting, but this whole world looks like it's built in ruins. Yes. This is... This game is actually very post-apocalyptic. Mm hmm Well, this is working out for you, it seems. Mostly. I just remember what his patterns are. Ow. Most of them. You have him down to about a third health. Oh, he just doesn't take a whole lot of damage from the poison. Maybe that's my issue. I think my secondary weapon is just trash against him. Uh, yeah, poison would make sense for something a plant would be immune to, depending on the variety of plant. Either that or I can't do a whole lot of damage to him. I don't know, but mostly as a matter of pattern. My gluten-free, rainforest-friendly, ion-enhanced nanostone armor, you broke it! <laughs> I'm getting a little grumpy right now. Huh. But it's just work, so... I am should... So I'm should to let it go. I guess I can't stop you from getting to the fruits. They also grow quickly, so maybe nobody will notice. For now, I'm gonna sit here and photosynthesize. Please don't bother me. I bother him further. Do you like anime? <laughs> the boss lent me a lot of DVDs. She said it helps with boredom. But I'm a plant. Don't really get animated humans. Oh, no, I wasn't about to show you any. 
Just talking. Anime? What anime? You're still here. You can take the elevator down to Loha's town. But if you want to stay and chat, I'm okay with it. Everybody says that I have a mean-looking face, that I'd be a great guard or bouncer. Do I look that scary? I try to smile as much as I can. I wanted to be an esports celebrity, not a scary guard for fruits. <laughs> my interests just can't align with my skill set. Life's tough like that. An esport? Wait, they actually have computers here? My boss pays me and cook meat. Is that what bosses are supposed to do? I heard bosses used to give out money, not meat. I'm glad times have changed. I mean, who wouldn't want meat? Money doesn't look very nutritious. Hi, what's up? Well, you don't have to tell me what's up. I was just saying. Some people get mad when you ask them what's up. I mean, they're right there. It's kind of redundant. Actually, I don't think I like this question either. Please don't ask me what's up. I'll get mad. Okay, and we're looping. <laughs>